So we will be tackling the case of People versus Court of Appeals and Ortiz in connection with Article 130, Searching Domicile Without Witness and Section 8. Rule 126 of the Rules of Criminal Procedure. Section 8, Rule 126 of the Rules of Criminal Procedure provides that no search of the house, room, or any other premises shall be made except in the presence of the lawful occupant thereof or any member of his family, or in the absence of the latter. Two witnesses of sufficient age and discretion residing in the same locality. This provision is consistent with Article 130, Searching Domicile Without Witnesses, of the Revised Penal Code. Search means to go over or look through the purpose of finding something. To examine. So, the issue of this case is whether or not the witness to search rule was violated by the police officers who conducted the search notwithstanding the absence of Ortiz and despite the refusal of the members of the household to act as witnesses to the search. The facts of the case are as follows. Operatives of the PNP Special Investigation Service Command conducted surveillance of suspected drug pushing. One of the target was Toto Ortiz to which they spotted a lighting from his jeep and noticed his budging pants pocket. Two of the police officers immediately moved in and accosted him. The PNP applied for a search warrant against Toto. The search resulted in the seizure of the unlicensed firearms. Ortiz's wife signed the receipt for the seized firearms and ammunition. At the preliminary investigation, it was ruled that the warrantless search of Ortiz's person and jeep was invalid. However, the search and seizure conducted in Ortiz's house was valid. Ortiz moved for reinvestigation and contended that the search and seizure in his house was illegal since he was not present when his house was searched and that it was conducted in violation of the witness to search rule. Court of Appeals declared inadmissible in evidence the firearms and ammunition seized, hence, the instant case. The Supreme Court held that no, witness to search rule was not violated by the police officers. Section 8 of Rule 126 of the Revised Rules of Criminal Procedure provides that no search of a house, room, or any other premises shall be made except in the presence of the lawful occupant thereof or any member of his family, or in the absence of the latter. Two witnesses of sufficient age and discretion residing in the same locality. There was no violation of the aforementioned rule since. The table presents the elements of searching domicile without witnesses. The first element, that the offender is a public officer or employee is present since the offender here are police officers. Also, the second element is present, that he, the offender, is armed with search warrant legally procured because police officers applied for search warrant which was then duly issued by a judge. The third element is also present, that he searches the domicile, papers or other belongings of any person, since the police officers conducted search and seizure in Ortiz's house. However, the fourth element is absent, that the owner, or any member of his family, or two witnesses residing in the same locality are not present because after Ortiz's wife and maid refused to be witnesses, there were two witnesses of sufficient age and discretion, they were the bailiff of the court, and the barangay security officer. Since, the fourth element is absent, the absence of proper witnesses, the police officers are not liable for searching domicile without witnesses. That's it and thank you for listening.